Good morning and welcome to the International Space Station Flight Control Room in Mission Control Houston, where the team is preparing now for the undocking of the Soyuz MS-07 from the International Space Station at 4.16 a.m. Central Time, and it's landing at 7.40 a.m. with Expedition 55 crew members Scott Tingle of NASA, Norishige Kanai of the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, and Anton Shkaplerov of Roscosmos. We'll be covering all of these activities here on NASA TV today, and if you're watching, we'd love to try and answer questions you might have about what you'll be seeing. Send them in on social media using the hashtag AskNASA. Here in the uh, Mission Control Houston, Flight Director Scott Stover is leading the team for today's activities. Uh, and in Russia, the flight control team in Moscow is being led tonight by S Svetlana Marinova. 32. 32. That's normal. And in Kazakhstan, a number of officials and vehicles are standing by in preparation for this morning's landing. Eight MI-8 helicopters are on their way from Karaganda, Kazakhstan, to the primary landing site southeast of Jeskazgan, with the television equipment that will provide us views of the landing and the inflatable medical tent that the crew members will be taken to immediately afterward. Copy. Two more helicopters will be ready for the uh, possibility of a ballistic, land, a ballistic landing by uh, moving to a site about 250 miles away from the area, which is where touchdown would take place if ballistic landing occurred. And then a final two helicopters will loiter midway between the sites. Also on board the helicopters headed to the primary site are several NASA representatives, including Deputy Space Station Program Manager Dan Hartman, Astronaut Chell Lindgren, Flight Surgeon Rainer Effenhauser, and NASA Landing Team Coordinator Chad Rowe, Copy. as well as NASA Spokesperson Gary Jordan and NASA Photographer Bill Ingalls. Six all-terrain vehicles have also been deployed for the landing and three airplanes that serve as flying command centers. Airplanes will provide direct communication with the crew and relay those communications back to Moscow. Go ahead. Weather for tonight's landing is expected to be uh, cool for the season and somewhat breezy and as well as dry, so we should uh, be able to hope to have good views of landing uh, when it's scheduled to occur at 7.40 a.m. Central Time. You're going to prepare. Again, here on the ground, everyone is getting into place for that landing, but on orbit, the crew is still uh, getting ready to get into their vehicles and close hatches between themselves and the rest of the space station. Seeing a live view of Norishiga Kanai here, getting ready for that hatch closure. Copy 0905. And the hatch closure is scheduled to take place around 12.55 a.m. Central Time. So about 10 to Kanai waving there ten to from that view of, on board the space station. Start working in the compartment, yes. Copy. At the moment, three returning crew members and the three crew members who will be staying behind have a few minutes left together. Coming home today aboard their Soyuz MS-07, which is uh, again still currently docked to the Rosbet module, are the Expedition 55 crew members Scott Tingle, Norshiga Kanai, and Anton Shkaplerov. They launched to the space station from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on December 17th and will end their stay today with a total of 168 days in space. And staying behind are their three crewmates, NASA's Drew Foistel and Ricky Arnold. Ricky, you can see uh, they're also on the screen behind Kanai, along with Roscosmos's Oleg Artemiev. As of Friday, those three are now members of the Expedition 56 crew. Foistel took the reins of the uh, space station as commander over from Shkaplerov in charge in a change of command ceremony that took place on Friday afternoon. We have some video of that change of command ceremony that we are going to play for you here now on NASA TV. Okay, guys. Um, 
a bit uh, three months uh, since um, we are started uh, like expedition uh, 55 I took uh, the commander the command of the international station we uh, have been working very hard uh, for uh, our uh, uh, big international project uh, called in the International Space Station. Um, and this uh, time, uh, astrays, um, we, are, we are going to return to the Earth, you, Hawaii, and um, uh, with um, um, uh, launching, uh, launching, uh, launching soon. Uh, um, uh, Altai, Altai, yeah, uh, yeah. We'll continue uh, this uh, uh, this uh, ISS program together, and um, uh, uh, I want to say thank you very much, you, Drew, uh, Ricky, and Alek. Uh, um, uh, we work together. Thank you very much for your friendship, for your help uh, every day. And uh, my crew mentors, uh, my uh, space brothers, uh, Nimon Maker, I'm very proud to be part of the uh, um, Astrays uh, Soyuz crew. Um, however, um, this time, Drew, uh, you have to uh, take uh, a command of the International Space Station. Thank you, Anton. And, oh, I and uh, we have new tradition to uh, hand over a um, uh, key of the International Space Station. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. Here's> <laughs> Please save, save for next commander. Very nice. And don't forget in, space, <laughs> in your pocket when you yeah. uh, will go to the Earth. Thank you, Anton, for uh, passing the command of the International Space Station. It's an honor and privilege for me to uh, be a part of this international program. And uh, I want to thank you and your crew, uh, Scott and Nemo, for welcoming us to the ISS, uh, taking care of us, uh, making sure that we were ready to work when we arrived. You made the transition seamless. Uh, we appreciate your patience and your guidance and your leadership while you were here. And uh, we look forward to uh, a safe and uh, soft landing for you. So on behalf of myself, uh, the assistant to the commander, Ricky Arnold, and the Soyuz commander and expert uh, leader of the Russian segment, the three of us thank you for your, uh, your guidance, your leadership, your help, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again back on Earth. And uh, as a parting gift, I will offer you an Expedition 56 coin uh, that the three of us have signed and saved for you, flown in space as a, as a parting gift. So thank you for your... Uh, for your time and your support. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Anybody want to say anything? <laughs> See you, everybody. Thanks for your support, Houston, and we look forward to uh, many more months of working together and uh, continued success on the ISS. That again was Friday's change of command ceremony with Expedition 55 Commander Anton Shkaplerov handing command of the International Space Station over to Expedition 56 Commander Drew Foistel. Foistel, Arnold, and Artemiev are scheduled to stay on board the space station until October. In the 166 days they spent at the space station, they uh, accomplished quite a bit. Uh, they launched on December 17th and then arrived at the space station on December 16th. Uh, and ap since then, they uh, saw the arrival of four other vehicles, one SpaceX Dragon cargo vehicle, one Russian Progress resupply ship, one orbital ATK Cygnus cargo vehicle, and one Soyuz with the March delivery of Foistel, Arnold, and Artemiev. They also packed up and waved goodbye to two SpaceX Dragons, one Progress and a Soyuz that took home Mark Vandehei, Joe Acaba, and Alexander Misurkin, who were at the space station when Tingle Kanai and Shkaplerov arrived. 
All three of the astronauts landing today were also able to participate in spacewalks during their time at the space station. Tingle in January spent uh, seven hours and 24 minutes on a spacewalk. Shkaplerov on February 2nd lasted uh, eight hours and 13 minutes during his spacewalk, and that's a Russian record for duration. And because it was the second spacewalk of his career, he now has spent a total of 14 hours and 28 minutes outside of the space station. And uh, Kanai also participated in a, in a spacewalk on uh, February 16th, which lasted five hours and 57 minutes. How copy. This is MCC Moscow. For Tingle Kanai, uh, for Tingle and Kanai, this was the uh, the first their first space flight, so they will each return home with that 160 days as their total time spent in space. And this is Kaplarov's third mission, so he will now have a total of 532 days in space, putting him at 17th on the all-time list for most days spent in space, tied with Mikhail Turin. It's Charlie MCC Moscow. Олег, Антон, далеко там? Просто нам в корабле надо выдать команду 840. Скажи ему, пожалуйста. Еще раз, какую команду? Переход на автономное питание 840. Continuing to see some uh, live video from the International Space Station with crew members splitting in and out as they prepare for the upcoming hatch closing between uh, the ROSFET module of the space station and the uh, Soyuz MS-07, which will be coming home tonight with Scott Tingle, Norishiga Kanai, and Anton Shkaplerov. That uh, hatch opening is scheduled to take place around 12.55 a.m. Central Time, so we've got a little bit more than 10 minutes left. and. Uh, We'll be seeing the crew members right. moving about, getting ready for that before they uh, say their final, final, final farewells and then close hatches for a series of leak checks before undocking later tonight at uh, 4.16 a.m. Central. Copy. You sent all the commands, correct? Yes, all the commands have been sent. Okay, that's good. Sounds good. Thank you. So we're going to be in the area of the um, uh, bio uh, in about five minutes altogether. Okay, copy.
continuing standby here and getting ready for the uh, hatch closure between the Soyuz MS-07 that will be carrying three Expedition 55 crew members home tonight and the International Space Station. We've got the camera set up here um, on the space station side of that hatch and the crew soon will be um, gathering to say their final final for final farewells and then Scott Tingle, Nor Shiga Kanai and Anton Shkaplerov will get into their Soyuz to prepare to come home. That's scheduled to take place at around 12.55, so we should be seeing them gather here before too long. For now, though, you'll see a few of them flit in and out of the view as they uh, make their final preparations, make sure everything's on the right side of the hatch before they do uh, get ready to close it. MCC Moscow says, uh, MCC Moscow, this is a strange one. How do you copy? I read you. That's good. Do you see us? Do you see us on the video? Are uh, we transmitting the video signal? Yes, we see you. That's good. Anton, this is MCC Moscow. Well, in about five minutes, you can start the uh, farewell ceremony. Oh, Anton, in five minutes, we can start the farewell okay. ceremony. Then we'll be executing so, uh, item two, three, page decimal 25, two, on then. page 23. Okay, and then you'll be closing the hatch per the timeline. Okay, that's good. Seeing a view of Anton Shkaplerov here inside uh, his Soyuz MSO-7 that's going to be carrying him, Scott Tingle, and Norishika Kanai home today. Uh, just doing some checks with the Russian flight control team in Moscow. And you heard there that uh, we should be seeing the farewell ceremony begin in about five minutes now. So, Tima, then you, then myself, uh, we're going to follow in that order. More crew members beginning to gather here. You've got all three of the crew members who are coming home <laughs> now. Uh, uh, Scott Tingle and Norishika Kanai there uh, 
giving each other a, a farewell hug, even though they'll be returning together. And now Anton Shkaplerov in the view with them. Those are the three who we will be seeing back on Earth later today. They're scheduled to land at 7.40 a.m. Central Time in Kazakhstan. Seeing their Oleg Artemiev give uh, some farewell hugs to the crew members who will be leaving today and uh, Drew Foistel now as well joining in on those. Oleg, in one minute we're going to have a short LOS. For correction, that's actually Ricky Arnold there and here is Drew Foistel now coming into view. Copy. MCC Moscow, S3, go ahead. Well, we're ready to start. We're ready per item 3.2. Okay, if you're ready, we can start. Going through a quick handover between uh, satellites here. We should be seeing video again in just a moment. And as you heard, the crew has uh, said those uh, final farewells and uh, given a last round of hugs. And now they are getting ready to close the hatches between the Soyuz MS-07 and the Rosvet module that it's been docked to since December 19th. I'm CC Moscow, I'm SJ1. How do you read me? Read you loud and clear. So, is one minute elapsed? Yes, yes, Mitri. Yes, we're ready. We're in the bio. Okay, remove the cap. Per page 25. 25, yes. Close the KVD. Uh, check the messages on the display. Okay, removing the cap. The cap has is off. Copy. Так, 
Так, проверяем, что пробки на крышках у БСУ. We're making sure that the plugs on the BSU are on. Так, закрываю КВД на... Closing КВД on КДС. Да, все верно. Да, все верно. Дима, КВД закрыл. КВД is closed. Принято. Копи. I need to check on the КСД on the starboard side. Okay, it's there on the starboard side. Okay, that's good. Checking if the message is on. S six is it eliminated? S six is not eliminated. That's good. MCC Moscow MS three one uh, uh, page twenty five completed. Copy. Switching to uh, item three decimal four on pages twenty six and twenty seven. Copy. Seeing a view here of Oleg Artemiev in the foreground, uh, standing or uh, floating rather in front of the hatch to the Soyuz MS-07 that will be returning to Earth today. Copy. Starting to hear the uh, crew on the Soyuz go through the checklist that's required as they begin to close the hatches between their vehicle and the International Space Station. Everything is ready. We completed the wiping part. No, um, unknown objects there. A leg, the next step is yours. We have no FOD here either. So, ready? Ready. Okay. Best of luck. Best of luck. Close the hatches. Oleg, do you read me? Yes, I do.
Um, Alec, please report when you have completed the BSU uh, cover closure. S3, S3, please respond to the um, lower control room. This is Vasily speaking. Anton and guys, uh, the entire crew, thank you very much, guys, for a uh, great job, for a uh, great cooperation. Uh, we're saying our goodbyes for now. We're wishing you soft landing, and we're looking forward to seeing you on the ground. Uh, big hugs and uh, all the best. Thank you, Vasily. Uh, very much, and uh, thank you to you and the entire uh, orbit team. And well wishes from the flight control team on the ground in Moscow to the crew on board now, uh, the Soyuz MS-07, that's Scott Tingle, Norshika Kanai, and I Anton Shkaplerov getting ready now to come home. I'm ready. I saw them close the hatches between their vehicle and the International Space Station at 1.02 a.m. Central Time when they were orbiting over Taiwan. We're closing the um, um, cover of Bayou Okay, go ahead and close it, Anton. Closing. As Trey, please uh, confirm you closed both covers. Yes. We closed them. We hear the clicks. Copy. The handle goes to the initial position. Moving to page 28. 28. That is correct, page 28. SSVP on the info display? Yes. Looking at the CATSAP display, I see it. Okay, Sasha, 15. That's good. Astray, please uh, provide running commentary as you're executing commands. S11 eliminated. The 8 is not eliminated. Is not eliminated. Is not eliminated. The same. The seven is eliminated. Mm 
Get it, you get it. Is it on? No, it's not illuminated. Over there, okay, let's make sure I get the Tommy, Tommy, get up. Over here, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good luck. That's good. We have MCC Moscow, I'm a three. One, go ahead. Uh, we have completed item three decimal four per page 28. We confirm backup power per KRD. So supply two is, is eliminated. Copy. Astre, start uh, performing uh, transfer hedge leak check per page 2929. Copy. Page 29. Now preparing the off nominal situations book. Okay, we'll do. Bef check that uh, KVD is open. Open KKT. Copy. KKT is open. We're uh, going to the descent module. Copy. Nemo. Uh, do you think you can go straight ahead? Nemo is uh, transferring to the descent module, and I will follow. Now that we have the hatches between the Rospet module and the Soyuz MS 07 closed. Again, that hatch closer came at 1.02 a.m. Central Time. We'll be taking a break now while leak checks are performed. We'll be back closer to the time of the Soyuz's undocking from the International Space Station, and that's scheduled to take place at uh, 4.16 a.m. Central Time. So we are planning to come back at 3.45 a.m. Central for uh, that undocking coverage. And then after that, the Soyuz uh, will begin backing away from the space station and we'll take another break and come back at 6.15 a.m. Central Time for the Soyuz's 4 minute and 40 second deorbit burn that's scheduled to take place at 6.47 a.m. And from that point on, we'll stay on until the crew has landed and is out of the vehicle. Again, that landing is scheduled for 7.40 a.m. Central Time. We're closing Hedge Sabo. So stay tuned, and we will be back here on NASA TV at 3.45 a.m. Central. And this is Mission Control Houston. Mm -hmm.